Okay, multiple choice questions. Question one. Multiple choice question for chapter 26. Right? Cash flow. Forecast, yeah. okay? okay? Which of the following is an example of a cash and flow? <clears throat> you have wages, cash, sales, rent, interest paid. Cash inflows. B. Cash sales. Great. Yeah. Question yeah, two. Because all of them are cash outflow. Thank you. I mean, interest paid, rent, wage. It, it's, uh, I mean, wages you give to uh, workers, you give to a bank, uh, loans, others. I mean, it's very obvious. Question two. Okay, two. Which of the following is an example of a cash outflow? Okay, you have uh, A, interest received. B, cash from trade payables. C, uh, fresh injection. Of capital okay the payment for raw materials oh. Wait, which would be D payment of raw, for raw materials yes that's yeah. cash outflow yeah question three I mean you pay for the raw material yes question three please okay uh, three. Oh, it's a, it's a calculation one. Yeah, it's okay. The, okay, the opening of cash balance. The opening cash balance. Not the opening of. The opening cash balance. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the opening cash balance uh, for our business was... 35,700 US dollars. And the, and net, the net cash flow was negative 11,500 dollars. Why is negative? It's negative. They said negative. It could be negative. Okay. The cash, the closing balance is... is so what is the formula for... Closing balance. Net cash flow plus uh, opening uh, balance. Opening balance, great. So our net cash flow is 35,700, right? Okay, I'll plus, open up a key plus minus 11,500. That will be 24,200. So, um, Check it. We said, open, no, we said closing, ba closing balance is net cash flow plus opening balance, right? Mm. Our net cash flow is 35,700. And our opening balance is a negative 11,500. So if it's negative, that means positive multiplied by negative. That will give us negative, right? Yes. So 35,700 plus minus 11,500. So it will be 35,700 minus 11,500, which is 24,200. And let me check that. Check, yeah, it's 24,200. All right. Uh, yeah, 24,200. Uh, Number three is A. Question four. All right. Sure. Um, when a business cannot pay its debt, it debts. Did, it's debt. It it's is debts. Said, debts. Yeah, I'm saying. Okay. I, I'm saying it right. Okay. It is said to be liquid insolvent. Insolvent. What is insolvent? I told you what insolvent means. The inability of a firm or of a business to pay its debts. I said the answer already. <laughs> but it's fine. So you know what insolvent is? Okay. I, said it, I said it during the class. Yeah, insolvent sure. means the inability of a business to mm. pay its debts. Yeah. That is insolvent. Yeah, sure, uh, B. It's B. The answer is B. Mm. Liquid is easily turned to cash. Yeah, you have, it's you have internal of cash. Yeah. Assets that can be easily turned to cash. That over is liquid. Trade over, over trading means what? I mean, it's very obvious. You... You want to expand uh, the business too uh, too fast without uh, you know actually paying it paying it without actually having capital without yeah, actually without having actually have, uh, cash for it yeah without actually investing over trading it. simply means the project a business has the mm -hmm. project in hand there's no cash enough to operate or to execute the project so basically it doesn't have enough budget enough cash enough cash to execute the project that it's it has. Yeah, it's basically. It's, uh, that's over trading. It's not over trading. I mean, that's overheating. Overheating? What is overheating? Overheating is just a simple term. Overheating. Oh. When you you know, eating means oh, light. Okay. Okay. That's. I, it's, I thought it's something from the. No, no, no. I oh. think it's clear. So the answer is insolvent, which is B, the inability of a business to pay its yeah. debts. Mm. That ends chapter. 
26 cash flow for